was just about to start eating this and realised I had I need to film it. So good morning. It's Thursday the fifteenth of April, and I have one of the reduced fat croissants, four hundred and fifty four calories. So yeah, I'm gonna f go back to my YouTube video that I was watching, Carla Jenkins, and eat my croissant. So I'm just going to quickly uh, show you what I got frozen in Aldi's because I need to get it in the freezer. Um, it's very, very hot. So I got these pizza subs. These are what I had for tea last night. And I believe they're 200, 253. And they were really nice. So I got those. Um, and I got these to try. I thought they looked nice. The sun in here, I, I got a bit of a glare, hopefully you can see. They are 137 each. So I thought that would be nice to try for a change. Um, and then, oh, I got haddock. I meant I got cod. Oh, well. Anyway, haddock. And they're 202 per fillet. That's really good, I think, for that. I do like that with um, like a jacket potato or or just some new potatoes. And then I got some of these. I haven't bought these since they've changed the calories because they used to be um, the same calories, I think, for four. But now they've changed them. There's only two. Too many hash browns for 128 calories. I don't think I'll probably bother with those. But the rest of them really like them. And then I bought the curly fries there for the family I won't eat those and it's per hundred grams 229 calories so you could if you wanted to and then I got these um do you know the the battered onion rings were less calories than um the bread did for some strange reason and these are four onion rings for 92 calories if they weigh 45 grams so yeah that's really good so I'm going to get these in the freezer and then I'll show you everything else so I've been to LD's today uh, Morrison's and also a couple of little bits from um, Lidl's because I had to take some walking shoes back there so whilst I was there I had a quick look around so I'll turn you around and show you what I've got so I got some of these sweet pancakes I always have to get for the family when I go they're 163 per pancake I never bother with those um, I got some chicken breast mini fillets and some normal chicken breast and I got three pairs of these um, sports glasses that they've got in there at the moment um, and I think they're supposed to be good for um, cycling you know obviously for the sun and um, stopping insects so I got three pairs of those I got some smoked salmon as we love this on scrambled egg half a pack is 98 calories so I think that might be a breakfast over the weekend um, just some sweets for the kids and then uh, Passata, passata, however way you say it. I always put this in my spag bowl. Half a pack is 63 calories. Um, and again, this is the bacon I always have. And I believe two rashers is 63 calories. Yeah. And... The skinny burgers I love these 119 calories each and you know I'm a bit funny with burgers if you get a bit of grisly in there but so far so good these have been really nice I've, I've enjoyed them and then I've got some mixed grapes because my daughter said could could we have some she wants some for a lunch box and the fish cakes 260 per fish cake they're really, really nice. Much nicer than the Morrison's ones, I find. Um, mashed potato, because my husband loves their mashed potato. 
rather on the high side, 199 per half a pack. And again, these are the sausages that we always have now. 76 calories of sausage grilled. They're really nice. Um, some deodorant and paracetamols. Oops. Groovy biscuits, 123 calories. These things are mainly for lunch boxes now, like they're back to school. I haven't seen these before. It does say they're new. Um, 134 calories. They look nice. Everything in Aldi's I find is nice. They've always got like nice chocolate in there. Um, spirals, 122 calories per bar. So I might incorporate one of those one day. And I got two packs of the 10 cent broccoli. This was on offer. I think it might have been 69p. Um, a bag of pasta. And they had some of this on offer as well. Maple syrup. I know they'll enjoy that with their pancakes. Um, some pasty for our little bunny rabbit. And sandwich thins. These are the ones I always have. 99 per thin. And I was pleased to see that I had the last one of these. These are the salads that um, Kaza always says about. And apparently they're very delicious. So I think I'm going to have this tomorrow. And it's 257 for that, which is, for, I think it's a bit high, but I guess you've got the mozzarella in there, so, and croutons. So, hopefully, Kaza, it'll be worth it. I should be excited to try it. And then I got the brioche buns. Now, these are 195 per bun and they're lovely with the um, burgers and then I've got a bag of onions and just some wet wipes, paracetamol and corned beef for my husband I never have corned beef, I don't like it so quarter of a can 194 calories so that's that much so far um, I'll put it away and then I'll get the rest to show you so this is what I got from Morrison's now I got two bags of the crispy salad. I got a pack of uh, red peppers. A bag of mini apples. Best the way to go to work the calories out. And I was just unpacking this and I've noticed it's been bashed open there. So I don't know whether it's. I don't think it was like it when I put it over my conveyor belt. So I've obviously done it traveling home um but these are 85 calories a serving and i put one in the freezer the other week and it's still there no way i still haven't eaten it so i have to get around to trying those baby plum tomatoes they are they're usually three tomatoes about 10 calories i think and then my favourite squash, cherries and berries. Some Bisto for the gravy. And some semi skim milk for the family. And I've got two pennants of raspberries. And then I found these. Um, I did scan them in the shop. I should have wrote them down because no in my eyesight. Oh, here. Per yeah, 100. Yeah, see, it did come up. 186 186 calories let me have a quick look so it's another toasty today it's a brie and cranberry one so I've got 180 calories worth of the Warburton's milk roll and then I've got one of those um, portions of the Normandy Brie from Marks and Spencers for 91 calories. And 20 grams of cranberry sauce for, let me show you inside, for 30 calories. 
it's very bright in here hopefully you can see so yeah I'm absolutely starving so I'm gonna really enjoy this I'm gonna have this now as my pudding after my lunch so it's 92 calories hopefully it'll be nice well it's okay I'm not overly impressed it's um it's a bit of a watery taste I find um hmm it's all right I'm gonna eat it because I I need I want something so I don't know if I'd repurchase it but I mean the other ones I showed you the other kebabs I really do like those so but this one bit bit odd right so um in Aldi's I couldn't believe my eyes but they had these for 99p and we all like these um so 87 calories per 100 grams and there's 125 in the pot they were 99p i got one pack of the chocolate they were 99p and in like waitrose and tesco's they're one pound 70 so i was so pleased to see they had those in for 99p bargain then i got this bread and butter pudding that's ready for the weekend for my dad and husband. Half a pack, 493 calories. Wow. Um, it'd be safe to say I shan't be having any of that. And a bag of raisins for baking. And then we got lighter than light mayonnaise. And that is 9 calories a tablespoon. So win-win. Some hand wash. Some golden syrup and some caramelized red onion burger relish. Let me just check, see if I can see. Per tablespoon, 21 calories. Oh, that's not bad. Well, I'll have some of that on my burger. Mm, nice. Um, and then some juice, some stuffing. I never have stuffing. But it's 52 calories per 45 grams. Oh no, I didn't pick up the lighter one. That's two mistakes now. So what are the calories on this? Oh no. 125 per 30 grams. Oh God. Sorry. Oh well. Oh, it's annoying that is. Uh, yeah, so that's that and now these are the couple of things now i've just bought in Lidl's. um so this is on the other side potato omelette with onion i thought that sounds nice what is the calories per 100 grams 158 well per 125 198 what would that be then? A quarter. Mm, this pack contains four servings. Yeah, so it would be a quarter, wouldn't it? Oh, I suppose that's not bad. Not a bad size. So I don't know whether I'll have that or not. Um, I picked these up. Salami stack snack sticks. Per 100 grams, 384. Should have to work out the weight on one of those. Um, and then I picked these up. These look really nice. Mini pork skewers with paprika. And one serving is 39 calories. They're not the biggest, but... I thought they, they look nice actually for if you just want a little snack or put some salad or something. So I've got two two boxes of those. And then they had these on offer. I think they were 49p. Um so the calories on these. Two sacks. Yeah, so I just scanned them in. 
I've just scanned them in, so this one is 207 and this one's 205. I've never had one of these before. Um, they're quite thin, but they're a good size lengthwise. So, might be nice for a treat. I don't know whether I'll have it, have one or not. I'm not sure, but I thought for 49p, it's just nice to have them in. So, yeah, so that's everything I've got. And I've got shopping all over the place, so I need to go and sort this out. And then it's going to be time for the kids to get home from school, so I better crack on. Um, I forgot to say I spent... Uh, I spent fifty nine seventy five in Morrison's, and in Aldi's I spent seventy pound eighty six, and um, excuse a hand then, and Lidl's was seven pound fifty nine. Is that right? Well, that's what it says. Seven pound fifty nine. Yeah. So. I had quite a lot of shopping, I think, today for all that, so I'm pleased with that. I'm just going to have one of these Nutella biscuits now for 70 calories. I'm just having this as a snack now. Uh, it's 102 calories. My tea tonight is a total of 340 calories. So I've got 6 calories worth of lettuce, 16 grams of Light of the Light Mayo for 10, um, a piece of cucumber which is 7 calories, 3 tomatoes for 10 calories, some red pepper for 17 calories, and then there's 120 grams of chicken for 184 calories, 30 grams of halloumi for 98 calories, and a couple of onions there for 8 calories. So a bit of a change for tea tonight, but I'm quite looking forward to it. I forgot to say about the sweet corn. I got 15 grams for 12 calories. I'm having a little moon now for my pudding, and this is 81 calories. So I'm ending the vid video now with, um, I'm going to be having a curly whirly a bit later on. These are 97 calories. And... Yeah, so I had a lovely tea. I really enjoyed that salad with um, the halloumi and chicken. Really nice combination. So, and I'm surprisingly quite full actually, because I did think that maybe I wouldn't be, because obviously there's no uh, carbs with it. And um, no, I, I really enjoyed it. So, and before I forget, I've had several people ask me about the zero zero calorie spray that I use. So it's this one, and I believe you can only buy it in Costco. You can order it on Amazon, but it's more expensive. But I, I had this from my lovely friend, Kaza. And see on the back, calorie zero. Well, obviously, if you're going to use you know, 20 sprays, it's not going to be zero, but the amount you need to fry an egg in, or, I don't know, fry some mushrooms in, then that, I believe, is classed as zero. So, so yeah, that is the cooking spray, and it's so much better than fry light, um, because I expect you've all heard that fry light damages your pans, um, and it definitely did damage mine. Um, and also, it, it didn't always fry an egg very well. Like, sometimes it would stick to the pan. Um, even buying new pans, it would still do it. But this stuff really is amazing. I haven't had one egg stuck yet. Um, I say that, and it'll probably go and stick next time I do one. But no, I mean, I, I'm really, really pleased with it. So... 
Yeah, but unfortunately, I can't get to Costco because I believe you have to be a member or something, and I haven't got one near me anyway. So, but that's what it is. Um, yeah, so today, I think I've, I have filmed everything that I've eaten today. Let me just double check. I have, haven't I? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, you saw the Nutella biscuit. And then I was having a bit of a sweet tooth attack. Um, and then I had the little Skinny Food Co. snack pot um, for 102 calories. I mean, I really enjoy them. But I was saying, I really enjoy them. But I do feel um, they're a bit steep on the calories for what they are. I hope this video is going to be put together okay. Because it keeps stopping me on running out of storage. So i got to keep deleting some things to get some more video on. So I better call it a day here. Um, so yeah, so I'm ending the day with 20 calories remaining after this curly whirly. So obviously I won't use those. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for everyone's support and messages that I have left for me. It, I really do appreciate it. And um, if you haven't already subscribed... I'd love it if you would. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll know each time I upload, which is always daily. And on weigh day, which is Monday, I upload um, my weigh-in results and then in the evening what I've eaten that day. So if you could like this video, I'd be really grateful and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.